never been easier to send your message out. It's never been harder to communicate. And today in a world in which uh, people think amateurs can do what it is you're going to do, some of you are going to be journalists, this list not to be on my sack, some of you are going to be uh, media professionals, marketers, <coughs> and public relations, some of you will be lawyers, those of you without moral compasses will run for office. <laughs> uh, all of you will find success, and all of you will find success because you've been trained in what is truly a powerful, powerful talent. So what I have for you is not advice, but encouragement, a request on behalf of all of us who need people like you. To remember that with great power comes great responsibility. And that we, while still a great nation, are in trouble. We need people who know how to do it, who know how to cut through the noise, cut through the static. People who know how to deliver the antidote to alternative facts. We need you to engage, to use your powers for good. We need you to join this fight. But no matter where you are on the spectrum, we need you to get engaged in public policy. You don't have to run for office. You don't have to work in government. <coughs> you don't even have to do this full time. But if you can use what you've learned to in any way in your communities, joining a library board, joining your school board, registering to vote, giving advice, to an elected official that you like and believe in. If you can help take what you've learned here and put it to, put it to good, <coughs> uh, out there in the real world, we'll all be better for it. And so I just want to say thank you. Thank you for uh, making me look so good. Every year the, this department becomes better and more prestigious. <laughs> and uh, even though I did nothing to help with that, it, I get to benefit for, from it. When people find out I'm a communication graduate, they go, oh nice, like all the bright young people on campus today. I'm like, yes, I was exactly like that. <laughs> thank you. I want to thank you for all the good work you're going to do. I want to encourage you um, to come back often. And I want to let you know that in my eyes, and in the eyes of so many of us who live here in the city of Ithaca, uh, you are always going to be family. You're always going to be welcome here. You're part of what makes this city a great place to live in, and we hope that you come back and visit us often, and remember that Ithaca will always be your home too. Thank you, and God bless you. Hey.